I want to talk about Marx. The context I'm operating under is that, of course, Waterloo engineering is quite difficult to get into. And what that means is that to get here and get admitted, you will have had quite high marks in high school. And congratulations on getting in, and congratulations on coming here. Now, the context has changed, and when the context changes, it's important to then reevaluate what's important. And so let's talk about the importance of your marks going forward. So I give marks. I wish I didn't have to, but it's part of my job. I will do that. And I like giving higher marks. It means that when I lecture and I say stuff, then I ask stuff about what I said, then people manage to say things that are responsive to what I said. Sure, that's great. But I don't believe on a larger scale that marks are actually that important. I think that research shows that there is no correlation between people's marks and their success, however you choose to evaluate it later on in life. Now, it's certainly the case that you at least need a 50% need course and a 60% term average to pass the pass the term. And so you, you gotta make sure you hit that, that limit at least. Beyond that, I would say that additional time spent chasing perfect marks is not a good use of your time. You should figure out what you want to learn and how good how well you want to learn it um, and then make sure that happens. I also want to say that it's Waterloo Engineering's belief that everyone we admit has the potential to, to graduate. Now of course sometimes things happen and sometimes you know terrible things happen in your life or sometimes you have mental health issues in fact and that may cause difficulty for you in your classes in particular. If that happens definitely come and talk to us and we will help you work through it as best we can. In most cases, you should be able to graduate. I want to digress a bit and talk about um, success because I think that's something that has obviously been pretty important to you uh, so far and is important to you going forward. And so you have to really sit back and think about what's important to you in your life. And now getting higher marks is not going to help you much. It helps you if you decide that you want to do graduate school. Um, and things are basically easier for people with high marks than with low marks, in particular for any academic accommodations. But apart from that, graduating with a 99% average versus a 72% average is not going to be the determining factor in your life. What is? Well, you have to decide that for yourself. And I would also claim that it's also not whether you get that fancy co-op job, it's not surface things, it's not um, what job you get going out of school, but it's really for you to decide. And you can't really, you can use as guides what your peers have, but don't let that be the only guide. Decide for yourself what makes you happy and evaluate that constantly. All this to say is, look, Learning, learning is hard, and the fact that you can fail does incentivize you to learn, at least to some extent, and I'd encourage you to do that. But don't go and try to get every last mark. That is probably not what you want to do. Alright, good luck this term.